So today, just a quick video about this LED display, which completely baffles me and I really had to show it. Just a normal 7 segment for a digit LED display, but there is one weird oddity. It's a multiplex display, common anode, and you can switch the anodes to choose the digits. I'm choosing the first digit and you can see the dot after, or the decimal point after the first digit. This is for example the decimal point after the third digit. And when I try to activate the one after the second digit, it lights up both the dot and the colon. And of course you can switch the cathodes to choose different segments. Segment E, D, C, G and so on. And here is the segment age or dots or decimal points. But in this display it seems that the decimal point here is in parallel to these two dots in the colon. All three LEDs in parallel. There is no possible way you can choose which one lights up. What's the point of that? And it's not just the problem of this yellow display. I have an orange equivalent of it and it's doing the same thing. It's not just a bad piece shorted in a manufacture or anything. And here's some sticky taping pieces of trash bag over LED displays to make them more readable. It's better readable than without it because the inactive segments are not visible now. I was thinking it's some manufacture defect, but no. It's even in the data sheet. When you take a look at the internal connections, this is the common anode, this is the common cathode, and in both versions, the second digit here has three LEDs in a parallel. The decimal point after the second digit from the left, plus the two LEDs in the colon, all three in a parallel, and there is no way you can choose which one is to light up. Am I missing something, or are you kidding me, guys? I'm just not getting it. And what the data sheet says is exactly what's going on here in real life. Are you supposed to cover somehow the ones that you're not using? But then it's one third of the brightness. And you can't compensate it using a lower series resistance because it's a multiplexed display. The same resistor is always shared with some other segments. The only way to use it really is to cover the unwanted ones, but then the current is shared between three and it's going to be dimmer than everything else. And by the way, I have this yellow and orange display for the new version of my two-channel wireless thermometer. It has a receiver with two channels and it also has transmitters with batteries, some antenna and the transmitter module. And an ATML I programmed, a temperature sensor, some potentiometer for calibration and I plan to make a more accurate version of it which will be using an external voltage reference instead of the internal reference of the microcontroller because it's not very accurate. But the nonsense in these displays left me completely speechless. But fortunately I only need the decimal point after this digit. It will measure temperature with 0.1 degree Celsius resolution and it will never use the colon and this decimal point, so it doesn't really bother me. So that's it, and I'm also working on a video about the self-discharge of various supercapacitors. And I will also continue working on this bench power supply. And please consider supporting this channel on Patreon or using the thanks button.